Hey there guys and welcome back. I got slight changes to alchemy that are working out kind of well. So I want to go over it. Um, Because there's a thing with John Calvet. Everyone knows when you play John Calvet you want to <laughs> mandrake it usually. So now they rerun things like Roach and Black Blood which actually isn't too bad. So we'll go over this one real quick. We got three ointments. Resurrect Bronze Unit with five power less. You know this can resurrect your Slave Driver, your Viv Carbo Novice, or your Viper School Witcher, which are all deadly cards, so this is a great card to have in there. Then three mock Males to boost a random ally on each row by four. Pretty good, 12 power bronze. I mean, if you use a Viv Carbo Novice on it, then it's a 14 power bronze and it's even better. Then a single Marjoram, actually, instead of the third Slave Driver. Reset a unit and strengthen it by three, or reset a unit and weaken it by three. This is great to use on John Calvet or Roach, because if you use on John Calvet, then you'll be able to resonate power John Calvet, and Azure can shuffle Roach back into your deck. So that way, if you they Mandrake your John Calvet, then you can still use your Mandrake and your Marjoram on Roach and make him really strong. So that way, when he comes out of your deck, again, he becomes big power play. Then we got a Slave Driver to create a bronze unit from your opponent's starting deck. Pretty good card, it's sort of fallen off now that it's not like unique cards, the three choices you get, but it's still really good and still tends to grab the best thing out of my deck from me. So this card's this card's good. Then we have the Cavaro Novice. Look at two random bronze alchemy cards in your deck and play one. Um for alchemy we have Marjoram, we have Mock Males, and we have Ointment. So he can grab you a Marjoram, so be careful of that. Um but he's still really good. And Marjoram gives us an extra thing for our Viper School Witcher. Because now we have 7, 10. We have 10 alchemy cards. So our Viper School Witcher does 10 damage, by the way, which is the next card. Viper Witcher deal 1 damage for each alchemy card in your starting deck. We have 10, so he does 10 damage. If you hit a 10 power target, then he's 15 power bronze, which is crazy. But you're usually using him just to remove everything annoying that your opponent has, so they can't play it. And we got Black Blood, choose one, create any bronze or silver necrophage or vampire, or destroy bronze or silver necrophage or vampire. Uh, this is just used for creating a bronze or silver necrophage or vampire, because there are some good choices in there. And if you're not completely trashy lucky, then you're going to get something good out of it. So this is a good card, and it's an alchemy, so that works out. Then Runestone, create a silver nilf guardian card. Plenty of good silver nilf guardian cards. Um... For that random time that you fight, um, consume, which isn't popular anymore, you can grab a Swears and stuff, and then there's the Lock Unit, there's, and there's an Agire, of course, and then we got Mandrake, choose one heal a unit and strengthen by six, or reset a unit and weaken it by six, usually using this on yourself, I mean, every now and then you'll want to hold on to it, maybe if you're fighting something like monsters that you think they could be running Imlarith, but he's not ran as much. But still, this Mandrake can save you from them, Morris. And we got Roach. Whenever you play a gold unit from your hand, summon this unit. Yeah, you play a gold, he comes out of your deck. Pretty good. Then Azure, return two bronze or silver cards from either graveyard to their respective decks. Uh, you usually return Roach to your deck so we can pull them out again. And then whatever else you want. Like, you could return uh, Ointment or Maka Male so we can pull off some more combos with the Vivcarvo Novice. Then we got Cantarella, draw two cards, keep one to move the one the other to the bottom of your deck. You have one of the best spies. I mean it moves the other card to the bottom of the deck, which kinda sucks, but hey, it's still still pretty good. And <laughs> one of the better ones because you actually get to draw two and then choose one that goes back into your deck and doesn't go to your graveyard. Then we got Carter to resurrect a leader. It's gonna resurrect your John Calvet. Which, if you pumped them up with like Mandrake and Marjoram, that's going to be crazy play. Because if you got both of them on them, it's going to be 15 power play that's going to let you play one of the top three cards of your deck. So, that's pretty crazy. Then Vesmir Mentor to grab a bronze or silver alchemy card from your deck. It's an alchemy deck, so I mean, Vesmir has plenty of targets to grab and he's a great card. Vilk Forge, this is another one. Destroy an ally, then play the top card of your deck. Or choose to destroy an enemy, then your opponent draws and reveals a bronze card. I uh, usually use this just to kill off your Sleeve Driver or Novice and then get another card from your deck and plus 9 on it. Technically plus 8 because you destroyed a 1 power. But he's still really, really strong. And this, as far as the secondary effect goes, I mean, maybe if they have something that's like 
crazy power out or if they don't have any bronze units left you can use it for that but you rarely rarely ever do that usually just use it to filter through your deck then step and skull and move any card in your deck to the top if non-spying unit boosted by five pretty cool because i mean you can move carver to the top of your deck which can be really nice because if you hold on to like carver and Azure for the last round, you got a crazy tempo play because your car is going to get six. And if your John Calvet got buffed up, then he's going to get crazy value out of that too. Then John Calvet, look at top three cards from your deck and play one. Really good card. Really good leader overall. I mean, like, you can pretty much run him with any type of deck and he'll be decent at least. But yeah, that's it for this one. We'll get into some pro matches with Alchemy and try it out. See you guys there. What must be done. All right. First up, we got Francesca, which Francesca, not sure what it is actually. Uh, we don't want poultices in our starting hand though. And or Roach. Okay. <laughs> actually, this works out nicely because Carher is in our hand, so we can put Carher on top of our deck. But over. I'm in pro later, guys. What? Um, okay. <laughs> so we just dropped Saskia. What the heck is the point of that? I'm gonna get whomped by some weird deck. I'm like really confused what to play. Let's see what he runs. Half Elf Hunters. Sappers. Neophyte. Alright, we'll grab the Neophyte. I shall not fail! <laughs> Now he's searching his deck for some card. Is this some troll deck? Is he gonna just renew it the next round? We do what must be done. <laughs> like, what the heck? I can't even see what he banished. I'm gonna I'm gonna I guess I'm gonna play <laughs> Stefan Skullin and yeah, put Carher on top of my deck. Bring Roach out. Let us sing the song of steel. Okay, so that's his he's some hand buff type thing. We're gonna Mardrum this Roach. Huh. And the Mandrake it. <laughs> like, at this point, I don't care if he takes round one. This is a totally weird way to play this deck, but that's how we're doing it. Okay, so we're going to use John Calvet next. And we'll grab Mahakamel, I guess. I mean, he has like five cards left. The heck did he keep in his hand? Shoop? Some crazy Shoop deck? He has four cards left. I might just use Vilkforce to ping something because he's going to run out of cards soon. Um, did he kill a Slave Driver? Yes, yeah, so it's safer to play the Novice now just in case I get double ointment, which I didn't. And then, for me. this has to be a shoot deck. Might as well Vesmir out that runestone. See what it gives shit. us. And... <laughs> Do I really want to give him another card? I don't think I want to give him another card just because he like milled himself out. Mercy. Oh, that's not the one I thought it was. I thought that was the creative soldier one. Oops. Well, that's all right. We'll just ping off his hawker smuggler next. Okay, so he hit that with Mandrake, so it's not as strong. Here's our chance. Just fine. Probably just play Black Blood. Then pass. I mean, I can't play either one of these. Scorch. Okay, maybe it's safer to pass now. 
Yeah, I think it'd be safer to pass now. This is totally catching me off guard. Because <laughs> if I play Vilkforts, I can't play the Vilkforts, and then, like, if he passes me after that, then I'd be really sad. We'll throw back a ointment and then use Agile on the dry pass. If he dry passes us. She might not even do that because he has okay, he is going to. He has one card left in his deck. I'm gonna shuffle Roach back in there. And our Mandrake. Now we shuffle our runestone back in there. Uh, we'll pass, of course, because <laughs> I'm pretty sure we win. I'm not 100% sure, but pretty sure. He got to filter through his whole deck. I mean, there's there's that going for him, I guess. Um, Throw back the ointment, try to get... That was a possibility. Well, now we get nothing out of Roach. We'll car her. Play him. Novice. Probably an ointment. To bring out another novice. Of course. To bring out another ointment, apparently. And then we'll grab a slave driver. Grease something from his deck. I guess I'll just go with the Dragoon. Oh. Okay, there we go. He discarded his disloyal, you know, well, we'll just... Okay. Well. Let me tell you. that That's not how it's normally going to go. So, <laughs> we'll get into the next one. <laughs> Probably just leave that in, because that's the first Saskia deck I've seen. Like, what was his plan? Holy crap. Okay, well, let's get into the next one, guys. I'll see you guys there. Checkmate. All right, Radovid. This is probably armor. This should be a more normal game. <laughs> I think we're gonna throw a roach back. Gonna throw back ointment and the other ointment. I think I was just trying to decide because like got the mandrake in our hand. That's kind of sad. Ooh, we got all our good alchemy cards in our hand and the Vesmir, and we start. Let's go Slave Driver, see what he's running. Aspirants. Reddit and Elites. Yeah, this looks like armor. So we'll take the Reddit and Elite. I'm on it. And then maybe just Vesmir. No, because we don't have anything really good to grab. Might just Runestone after. Looks like he's debating on using an armor eater to destroy that armor. Because, I mean, as long as we don't pull two of them, he's not going to use his rat of it. Oh, he's actually using that guy to deal with it. Okay. That works. Now we're free to use another slave driver, though, to try to pull another one. But I don't want to do that yet. I want to save this just in case he pulls two of them out. Mock mail. This guy's not a good play. Let's go with our leader. I shall not repeat. Into Cantarella? No. Go Vivicar Vanavis. Hopefully don't see double poultice or ointment. Good. Let's just go Magmail. There we go. Then we'll Mandrake. John Calvet if he doesn't Mandrake us, but they usually don't run Mandrake. And I'll probably hold on to this Mardrum to reset one of his armor guys. This is a good time to play it too, because we're in the lead. So he can't just pass us after this and make us go like two cards down. Reinforcements into Prince Dennis. Seems pretty normal. Depends on what he grabs. <laughs> if he grabbed, oh, not a Vesmir. I'm gonna laugh if he grabbed a Vesmir. 
All right, so our chances of seeing double ointment now. Ugh. This looks like the same one where they count on that one guy to eat all the armor and get a lot of value. No double ointment. If I don't see double ointment, I'll be really, really happy. Ooh, thank you, because now I can use Vesmir, bring out my roach, and play another Mahakamel. Which will get us in a really good position. So there's the... Okay, he's bringing out another armor guy. For a decoy. Yeah, this is definitely... He counts on winning round one with a, that combo. So... <laughs> it's actually going to be a really good card for that. He's filtering out all of those, though. That's handy. He drop Vilk Forts now? No. Spicy anointment or something, that'd be really sad. We're just gonna mock mail. Bring out a roach. So, using him, is this an armor eater or is this an aspirant? Probably an aspirant. Nope, it's the guys that you pull from your deck. Huh. Really don't know what I'm fighting here. We're gonna, <laughs> might as well ping that thing down, right? I mean, it has two armor. Well, at least get some value out of this we then. There. There's something for our Witcher to hit. There's an Aspirin, too. And he's almost out of those other cards, so... Let's ruin some. Let's see if we can get an Aukus. Not an Aukus. Guardian? Or no, Guardian Soldier. Make him draw. Yeah, Making him draw into that isn't too helpful round one because then they can just deal with it anyway. We're gonna play this guy. And we're gonna grab an Aldo Calvary, apparently. There's his lock coming down. See, you gotta just bleed these guys out until they. Either force themselves to play their win condition card or just won't have enough cards to make it useful. Well, there we go. We can use Azure now and shuffle this back into our deck. We can go with Black Blood. And Abaya? Delete his armor. Do a little bit of damage. Because he used up two of those guys already, so I doubt he has another one. And I'll stop getting the buffs from that. Where's your Vesmir? Does not exist. We can just shuffle Roach and Mandrake back into our deck. No, I don't want to do that right now. It's more of I don't want to draw into it. I guess we'll use this. Try to hopefully not pull an ointment or car her. Oh, disloyal unit, that works out. I shall be your eyes. And we'll grab a Viper Witcher. Because we're actually going to stay in the lead. Okay, the there's one of the armor eaters. So we'll use up our Viper Witcher on the 13 power. And does he have it? Like, doesn't look like he's planning on using it. Oh, 70. No. I guess I gotta hold on to this. I could reset this. That 12 power. That won't do us too much good. And I mean, his other card's dead now. So might as well pass here. Because now he, if he runs the card that eats all the armor, it's not going to be as handy to him. Not without a bunch of armor units. Stefan Skullin's good though. We're going to keep this Marjoram, that's probably going to be pretty important. Oh, we got Carter. 
So on the dry pass, I guess I just put like a Witcher on top of my deck. Unless he doesn't dry pass us. Okay. So yeah, I'm probably going to use Stefan's Skull in here instead of Azure. So we can use Azure to shuffle Roach back into our deck. Let's put the Viper Witcher on top of our deck. No, because he's running armor, which means I already got an answer for the Vesmir. Oh crap, no I don't because he has final say. <laughs> um, Slave Driver? He's going to print Stennis out something. Probably Siri Nova type deck. Which means this guy's gonna be stronger. Or I could just go with a novice. Novice and the ointment to slave driver. Yeah, we'll go with that. So he has final say. He's gonna want to drop Vesmir as his last card or Siri Nova, one of the two. And there's that. We're going to keep this. I should still be able to find a Mandrake target. We're going to shuffle Roach. And... A Baya? Baya probably wouldn't be too bad. If we pull into her with our car, her. We can already do the... Pretty big, let's see, if I pull an ointment, res him, pull an ointment, res him, pull an ointment, then res something else. We could do that combo. So we'll go with a novice into our deck. I've no interest in politics. Sile. Okay, there's at least a Mayandre target that will do something. So we're going to novice, grab an ointment, and we're going to novice, grab an ointment, and slave driver or witcher. Even if I pull his aspirant and he ends up pulling that one card, it's going to be too much to deal with, so we'll just go with a witcher. Okay, there's a Reddit and Elite. We're gonna car her, grab our John Kelvet, bring out our Roach. Novice and Oyman, do we have another Witcher in there? Hopefully, yes. So we'll Novice, of course, I the Ointment, the Viper Witcher, and to kill this thing off. Yep, there's the Siri Nova, and the last card probably is in Vesmir. Do we have anything injured? Nope. So yeah, we took we took that one. Uh, okay, well that was more of a real game, so <laughs> I figured it was a Siri Nova, but that tempo in the last round just too much. So we'll get in the last one now and I'll, yeah, we'll see you there. All right, King Ron, it looks like, for our last matchup. Those bears... Bears Marauders is usually all that they King Bron runs. Oh, I think I want to throw an ointment back first because I don't want to see any more of them. <clears throat> and then a roach and one of these ales. All right. What do we got? We got Stefan Skullin to put Carter on top of our deck. We don't have the Mandrake for our leader. That's that's unfortunate. Or the Mardrum for Roach. <laughs> Might not end up using them round one. This is gonna be tougher. He just Oh Siri. So this is the old one with Siri Dash. Alright. Um What are we gonna start off with? It's like no good starting play here. In <laughs> Runestone. Runestone or Stefan Scullin. Maybe I'll actually use Stefan Skull to put Vesmir on top of my deck. 
Then I can do my leader into Mandrake. That'll be alright. And that'll set me up for mock mails and such. And get Roach out. And then my deck a decent amount. Johnny? Oh wow, he, run he runs the Wolf's Bane too. And he Johnnyed it. Oh jeez. So that's... So he probably doesn't run a Coral. We're gonna John kill that. We'll grab the Vesmir. And then we'll grab the Mandrake. And we'll strengthen our John Kelvet up by six. That was pretty crazy. I was not expecting. And Stefan Skull? The heck are you running? Okay, well. That's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, that sucks. That's always a risk. I mean, we had one in our hand, so I figured when we had three of them in our deck and didn't do it, there goes that. Oh, man. Now we're in a rough spot. We're just going to play our Witcher. Kill off his stuff and skull. And he went first, though, so that's all right. We'd be in a really good spot if we got the mock mail. Okay, he's going to discard another one. Is this Siri Dash? This is Siri Dash. I haven't seen Siri Dash in forever. Holy cow. This guy's actually running Siri Dash. Let's create. Hmm. I could just grab my slave driver with this. I think I'll do this. This will thin out my deck some more too. But against this guy, we're probably not going to get, yeah, anything good. <laughs> Clan and Crate Raider, go. I'm ready. The next card you discard, see this thing's on a timer though. This is why I hate this card. This series Fearless. It's so... There's no reason for that to be on a timer. Because now I just kill it and he doesn't get its effect. Like... <laughs> It's so dumb. Why does that card have a timer? It's already a six power gold. Like, it should just be on deploy. The next card you discard, you get, um, whatever the heck you want. We're gonna play Mock Mail. And probably after this, we have to pass. Or Disloyal Unit. Disloyal Unit into Vilk Forge, depending on how many points he gets ahead of us here. Beware, beware the man of glass. Okay, so he's... So we need how many power play? 24. That's going to put him... 22. We need 22 point play. So if we burn this pull of ale or something, or if we pull the car, that'd be really bad. I think we're just going to pass him. He can take round one. That not pulling a Makamel pretty much shut us down there. But now we're guaranteed to see a Makamel and hopefully Corinther. Another ointment. Gotta throw one of these back. Yeah. I'll probably thin my deck. Oh. Well. 14 power carryover. Ointment. So we use one of these, we grab an ointment, we grab another one. Then we grab a Viper Witcher that's going to put us at 9. And then I kill that off? Yeah, that sounds fine. We use a novice, grab an ointment. We use a novice. That's not what I planned. <laughs> Ma Kamel. So we're actually going to have to go one down here. Just Agire, I gotta... Ooh. No, I don't want to do that. Viper Witcher. 
Because if I Agile and I shuffle Roach and something else into my deck, I'm not going to see what I want to see. Which is Carver, because I really need Carver. Hopefully I see him. I mean, I have six cards left. Not, not yet. Come on. Oh my, no. No, 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 he's on the bottom of our deck. I can feel it, guys. Oh man. How do we go about this? Okay, we'll disloyal. We'll slave driver first. Maybe we'll get this guy. Is this guy worth it? Throw a Viper Witcher. No, I don't have any more of them. Or slave drivers. It's any bronze card, right? Yeah, so I could discard an ointment. It doesn't feel too great. And that brings me down to four, so then when I throw my car over, one goes to the bottom of my deck, one goes to my hand, and I have a 50-50 chance of actually seeing car crap. Yeah, we'll grab him. The Marjoram is actually less important. We're going to throw that back. Throw that away. Then we'll disloyal. Hopefully see Carr. I don't think we win this one. <laughs> Let us see. Oh man. Take black blood. That one goes to the bottom of my deck. Oh. We need to get the really lucky build forts here. Even then, Azure is gonna be deadish. Alright, so we burn him away. There he is. John Calvet. <laughs> to Novice. To Ointment. Into, this is our last one. So we might as well Slave Driver. I mean, I could get his bear, but this this will do Viper Witcher. We follow left. Do it to his 13 power. Bring that back down. Hmm. And we still don't have final say. Yeah, this is a Siri Nova. We lose because I mean Siri Dash. His Siri Dash has to be really strong at this point. Of course, they haven't seen him discard it yet. Yes. And play Agire and shuffle. Does it really matter? Could shuffle things into his deck. I mean, we're not going to pull anything, just in case we do pull something that lets us draw. Shuffle a slave driver in. Now we'll do a viper witcher. And then I'll shuffle... His Crate Raider into his deck, I guess. Even without Siri Dash, I think he beats us. Which, wait a minute, he played four golds, didn't he? He doesn't run Siri Dash. One, two, three, four. What? How did he get five Go golds in his deck? Oh, he Johnnyed the Stefan Skullin. Okay, I was like, wait. Oh, he still had that guy, too. Yeah, that's definitely a loss. This was a horrible game, guys. A buy, a go. Do Arrakis Venom. Here. 
Then we have a mock male to beat his two cards. This mock male barely puts us in the lead as it is. Bow before modern Freya. So this isn't Siri Dash. I don't even know what this is, but it beat us. Pretty badly too, like what the heck? Not even a Marauder deck really. Why does he have all that thinning? What is your last card? Show me. I want you to play it. Don't pass. Oh. What the heck was that? Johnny? Siri Dash? Good game. Well, we lost the last one, but I mean, wow, I actually got ranking points when I lost, but I didn't get it when I win. What the heck? I don't know what that was and how that worked. I guess Johnny, the Johnny Wolf Spain combo kind of helped him. But besides that, I mean, like, he had a ton of thinning in there to grab bears. I don't know. I'm going to have to test that out because that seemed interesting. But yeah, that's it for this one, guys. See you guys in the next one. And yeah, till then, have a good one.